This guy is upgrading his police. He's upgrading the alternator one water. and the water pump. The same, same ones are on my car. Um, I didn't mention in my video, but these are the ones. The water pump is slightly bigger. You can see it right there, slightly. But the alternator is where the alternator is where the magic happens. Yep. It's the one that's about significantly bigger. Bigger. About a quarter bigger. Uh, if you look at Monkey Wrench, Racing. I believe they're five extra horsepower on a stock ECU. Now, if you tune it, you can probably <clears throat> squeeze like maybe nine. Nah, probably. Hey, who knows? Who knows? Nobody really goes to the hassle of doing it. That's your him. <clears throat> nope. I don't shit that kind of money. Um, Monkey Ranch Racing, you guys can see this. Please sponsor me. I got a mm. box of your stuff right there. And like I said to this guy, these, I recommend you do them by hand. <laughs> this guy has broken one of mine's. <laughs> um, My this man. one. Impact only. Impact. It's nice when you have air tools. And good shit. Snap on. Oh, here we go. Look at Jerry. We'll come with the quick But ones. if you don't. Um, Ten. You could also use a uh, impact electronic drill, or what are you doing? somehow pry it so you, this will move. I want to use that for the most freely. All of these. So we just finished installing this. We went from rubber to a stainless steel line. That was pretty easy. Just a screw here. Take off the clip here. And same here goes to the side. It's right here. And that's it. So, this is your uh, clutch cylinder. And with this. I think it's like 50 bucks at Monkey Wrench Racing. Um, you'll feel a little difference on the clutch. So we are here with Mark Dupool. Mark Dupool. Installing some polyurethane. Some more oh, inserts, so I'm not gonna remove them because they're kind of a little pain in the ass to put in. Had to loop them up with some WD 40, but basically, it leaves your motor mount that has some holes in it. Actual instructions were that. <clears throat> you, ready? you don't need instructions. I'm not trying to show a picture of it, but. Well, basically, you put yeah, one. Yeah, you, they should get it. I mean, it's kind of common sense. You pull one in, one in, put the other one at the other end. Where'd they go? How much did you pay for these? They were 30 bucks. It's a pretty cheap mod. Uh, I've heard from people that, you know, track their car. Track their car. That's a pretty good improvement. You'll notice it. Um, some downsides, I can't confirm for you because, as you can see, I don't have a motor yet, but we'll have a follow up video for this. I, a lot of people have said these solid motor mounts will make your idle rougher and higher, so you have. What did you eat? <laughs> oh, Cheetos. Um, at idle, your car will sound like it's running rougher and it'll shake more, but that's normal. That's just, I mean, you're losing comfort for performance, so mm -hmm. it's a give and take. The but, only bad thing about well, these is that you only get the rear mount. Yeah, technically, it's only transmission mounts because your transmission has a front. A rear and a side, which is right there. Right here. The only one that doesn't come and get it's no There you go. You can see it's, there's little holes right there. It's the right side there. one. But later I, on, I'll probably just get some silicone or something and put it in there. Yeah. And then this is the only one that touches the actual motor. And it looks decent, I guess. But yeah. But not bad for 30 bucks. Not for 30 bucks, you know, you can't go wrong. It's pretty cheap parts. Let's see how it goes.
So, what else are we doing to your car? Um, I went ahead and bought them. These actually, surprisingly, they're not that bad. But my last Celica, this is a 03, my last Celica was 2000, and they were pretty messed up. I mean, you can see the rubber was all rotted and destroyed. These are um, a shifter cable bushing set. As you can see, it's all solid brass. So over time, your transmission, which is down there, as you can see, they push and pull. So this is how you shift your gears. That would be going left and right. And this is to go first, oh, yeah. second, third, fourth. Check that out. <laughs> I hope you lose subscribers for that. Anyway, so what happens is when the rubber out here goes bad, you know, you get a little bit of play and a little wiggle. So it can cause your car to not want to go into gear sometimes or lock out of the gear. This is an easy fix. And also for me, since I am running a Fadanza flywheel, um, it is the lightest flywheel Wait. for the Celica or any 2ZZ. My prior flywheel was the MWR Porsche flywheel, which I believe is one, 0.2 or so pounds heavier. And it's going on my car. It's going on his car. The one downside of Padanza, they say, because it's so lightweight, as quickly as it revs up, it deregs fast. So it makes it a lot harder to land your next gear and lift. In my MWR flywheel, it was easy to just redline and land and lift. So I'm hoping with this, plus some other parts, like the clutch cable and something else you'll see in the next video and these, it'll help speed my shifting time by maybe a millisecond or two. That will, every millisecond counts when it comes to shifting. So we'll see how this goes. So after reading the instructions 20,000 times. 20,000 times, it came uh, to the conclusion that this one goes there, and this lower one goes here. Just a little snack ring on. My hand. Nothing. There we go. Alrighty. And then we have two carter pins that will come with. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know what carter pins are. If you don't, uh, carter pins. This will go on top of the little pin that goes through here to hold the shifter cables in place. The commission. And that's all for today. This is this little bitch is a little crabby. Shut up. So, for snacks, we're gonna drop the oil pan on. Hey, Albert, did you clean the bottom of the block? No, bottom of the block. Maybe surface. I wonder why. So, we put the 2000 wire harness in, like I said, <laughs> motor's out, he's working on the Fidanza fucking surface plate. Um, we installed the motor mounts, we installed the bushings, the Pulleys also, um, there's still a lot of work to be done. I'm not going to be here. Mark and my little brother are going to finish it up. Like not that I don't like you guys, but no, fuck you, man. you'll see where I had to go. I'm actually flying out in a couple of hours. We know what he's doing. You know. They do. You guys don't know. I'll post a video about it. Of the fly, the little adventure we're gonna have, me and my wife. So,
Oh <laughs>